this is a review of the DeLonghi Latissima 680 Nespresso machine. Um, I've had it a couple of days now, so um, I thought I'd share my general thoughts and sort of show you how to use it if you needed to. Uh, this is my first Nespresso machine, so it'd also be um, it's also going to be a, a review of the Nespresso system as a whole as well. Um, the 680 model specifically um, has all chrome. Uh, chrome fittings along the front, this is all metal um, as is the top's metal and this is also a cup warmer uh, uh, this is all plastic on the sides but the front is all metal uh, you've got the water tank which is actually at the bottom and you pull it out from the front there you go. Um, and there are inlet holes on the side where you put your water in and then there is an indicator on the right hand side which goes red uh, when it's empty obviously um, and that just pushes back in the front there, easy. And then you've got the um, cup holder in the, in the middle. Um, in, at this setting, it can hold the uh, espresso lungo and the cappuccino glasses. But if you're making latte macchiatos, you normally use larger glasses like these. Um, and to do that, you can just push the cup holder in, and that gives you space for the glass there. Um, you can also pull the tray completely out, um, which you do to empty it. There's a small red indicator that is in the middle, Oops. and uh, and when, when you, you see that it just tells you that the drip tray is full, so you just pull the pull the, the fascia off and, um, and pour the water away, rinse it out, that's easily done. And then you can slide the drip tray back in. It can be a bit fiddly to do sometimes. There you go. It's lots in the place. Um, it's also worth noting that these uh, stainless steel panels on either side of the drip tray are also removable. Um, you just need to clean them up and they come out like that. Um, so that allows you to clean them easily, really. And um, there's no other real explanation for it, but it, it allows for easy cleaning, which is handy. And they just slot back in like that. There we go. Um, just above the cup area is where the discarded capsules go, um, and you can it, it should be able to. There should be twelve in there at the moment, so um, it's pretty full now. It's, I should empty it now. Um, you've got, there also is water in the bottom, so you can drain that out, out every so often when it need be. Again, that just slides back in there. Your capsules go up the top here. Just pull the lever up, and then you just drop a capsule in where you put those. On the left hand side of the machine um, this is a hot water nozzle at the moment um, so if you press the hot water button you can get hot water for um, I suppose uh, teas and hot chocolates. I've not actually used it really but um, I suppose you can use it for that. And it's also where the milk caddy goes as well which I'll show you how to do in just a second. You've got the control panel on, on the right hand side so you've got a, uh, a power light standby indicator and then four buttons here and then a hot water button there. There is a main power switch on the back which will shut all power off to the machine um, and this this button will put the machine into power save mode which it is in currently um, when the light is pulsing red it's in power save mode. Um, I believe it uses 95% less energy but it does use some energy so if you want to save power turn the switch off at the back. Um, I haven't at the moment, I'd rather leave it just like that for the time being. So uh, to turn the machine on, either turn on the switch at the back um, or just press the standby button. Uh, the machine takes a little time to warm up um, and during the process the red light will flash on there and it's just uh, warming up the pipes inside. So you just have to wait, to wait for the machine to heat up and uh, once it's done you'll see that uh, some of the lights on the buttons will light up in white and that tells you that the machine is ready to do those types of drinks specifically. Okay there you go you see it's all uh, it's ready to do um, espressos and lungos at the moment. This is the hot water button you see it's pulsing at the moment. Um, that doesn't mean it's ready to, to do hot water if you want hot water you need to press the button press the button once um, and the red light will flash again and it should take another 40 seconds or so until that 
sets of pipes has been heated up and then you can do hot water if you wish. Today for this review I'm, just, I'm going to make a latte macchiato um, and I'll step you through the process there. Um, this is also the process you'd use to make any other uh, cappuccino based uh, cappuccino drinks, milk based drinks as well. Um, and yes, so the first thing you have to do if you're doing uh, anything that's a milk based drink is you have to get the milk canister and you keep it in the fridge obviously and you keep the milk cold that way. This is the milk canister. Um, it's got a tube that goes into the milk on one side and then there's an outlet tube on this side which you can to the side like that. Um, there's also a cleaning button on the front and a froth control along the top. So uh, you pop it on the machine, you need to pull off the pull the hot water nozzle off, like that just it just pulls straight off. And then you just pop the milk canister down and slide it in. The pipes will connect up. And you'll see the red lights now flashing again uh, because the system is now heating up the the pipes so it can do the milk portion of the drink for you. So you have to wait again, it takes about 45 seconds or so. And whilst you're doing this you can uh, pick out a, a capsule. So the uh, Nespresso capsules come in 16 different varieties. Um, they also uh, release limited edition uh, varieties every so often as well so you'll get extra ones if, if you want them. Um, they're all detailed in the welcome booklet which you get with the machine. Um, and uh, the, the blends are called Grand Cruce, um, and you can see them all there. Uh, so it tells you the intensity of them, um, with 10 being the highest. Um, also, what kind of flavours the coffee has, and also what kind of drinks they're suited for. Because um, certain blends are better suited for, um, for use in the milk-based drinks as well. But it's all up to you. You can use whatever combination you want, really. It's just a, it's a good guide, though. Um, so for the time being I've kept the, the welcome booklet near the machine just so I can get, get reference of what they all are because I'm still going through them. You get a sample packet um, with the machine that has one of each variety so it gives you a good chance to try the coffees and see which ones you prefer. Um, and then once you know which ones you like you go on to the Nespresso website. It's the only place that you can technically buy the capsules from. Um, they're not overly expensive. They come out at... Uh, between 26 and 32 pence each and um, they come in boxes of 10. Um, you have to order them in multiples of 50 however so just keep that in mind. Um, and they look like this so they you know um, they're all coloured different each colour is a different blend and the, it, the name is also printed on the foil there just uh, it's easy than fumbling through if I forgot I forgot which colours are which. Um, and when I uh, when I signed up, you need to sign up to Nespresso's uh, club, <laughs> and you get a membership number um, using the serial number for the machine. There's a sticker that was on the the drip tray in the cup holder when I got on the machine, so you just pop that into the internet and so onto that website. So you can phone that up too. Um, and then I was able to order a welcome pack, which consisted of either 150 or 250 capsules, depending on how which one I bought. Uh, the 150 capsule one was £45, if I remember correctly, and the other one was £75. Um, and it basically gives you a selection of all the different varieties again, but it gives you 10 capsules to, to have instead. Um, it's quite a good value for money, and you also get this um, cube storage box for free, which is £20 on its own, um, and that's helpful to have. I also have this store, which I bought from uh, from Amazon as well. And uh, yeah, and then they can do next day delivery if you order before half past two in the afternoon. Um, there is a delivery charge, but it's flat rate, so no matter how many things you buy, the delivery charge will be the same. Uh, also, if you buy over 200 capsules, uh, normal delivery is actually free, and any of the next day services is half price as well. So uh, the milk's now heated up. You can tell because the cappuccino and the macchiato lights are now white, so it means the machine's now ready to do um, to do milk-based drinks. So what I tend to do at the moment, um, one to flush out the system of um, any residual coffee that's in the nozzle, and also to help warm up the the cup because that can that makes the coffee sort of uh, you know keep its its warmth for longer. Um, I just tend to run a espresso shot through the machine without a capsule in so it'll just run hot water through. There we 
we go, that's done. So just uh, chuck the water down the sink and that's fine. So the system is now cleared out. Um, it does drip for a little bit afterwards. Um, obviously with the drip tray in place that's fine, but without it it will drip onto this uh, lower tray which um, is actually part of the water, the, the water tank. Um, you can clean it though, which is quite handy. You can, if you just take the tank out, you can clean it. But it, you know, it's a bit more cumbersome than just a drip tray. But it, at least it is removable still. But so that's done. So the best thing to do, if you pull the milk wand out and pop the glass underneath, there we are. And then you need to insert your capsule of choice, um, having the Rosa Bayer today. So you just lift up the lever and just drop the capsule in, push it shut, there we go, and uh, simply just press the macchiato button. The machine will do the milk first, um, giving it a good froth as well depending on how much froth you, you chose. And then the machine will do the coffee portion for you. There we are, that's done. Um, I just tend to let it drip just to um, collect you know, as much coffee as, as I can out of there. Um, but it will, it will drip for quite a while. And so the best thing to do is just pull the drip tray out as soon as you remove the glass, um, so that it'll collect in there as opposed to dripping onto the uh, the lower the lower tray. And um, then you just need to you just pop the wand in just to get the glass out. There we go, and that is uh, latte macchiato there. Um, very nice separation and everything. So pull the drip tray out. There you go, and then you can just leave that in there. <clears throat> Um, to get the capsules in there still, so all you have to do is pull the lever up again and it'll push it back down and that, what it's done now is ejected the capsule into the um, capsule container underneath here and that's done so I've got to deal with that right now. Also once you've finished doing any of the milk based drinks um, or if you've finished doing a round of them say you're making, if you're making two or three for different people, um, you haven't got to do it between drinks but once you've finished the whole drink making process you need to clean out the pipe system on the milk container get so you don't get milk residue which will go all flaky and um, not very nice. So what I do, I actually have a, <clears throat> a special uh, cleaning glass cup thing which I don't, uh, it, it's only uses to clean out the pipes. Um, so all you do is just uh, aim the nozzle slightly there, press and, press and hold in the clean button for a few seconds and you'll see everything will come out. And, There we go, and that's that flushed, uh, the system's flushed out, just chuck the, this milky water down the sink again. That's that done, push the wand away, pull the milk canister out, and pop the uh, hot water nozzle back on the pipe. You may want to clean the pipe off, it sometimes has a bit of milk on it still. And uh, that's done, and pop the milk canister uh, back in the fridge again. And uh, yeah, and then once you're all done, um, you can just press the power button and switch the machine off. It's now in power save mode. Obviously, if you want to turn the power off completely, you can turn the power switch off at the very back of the machine. Right now, now I've talked about how to make a coffee with the machine. Um, I guess I'll, I'll tell you the sort of pros and cons for me. Um, I really like the design is really nice, and I really do like um, the, the all the metal accents on the machine. Um, there is the Latissima 7 
I believe it's 760 or 770, which is um, almost pretty much is the same machine. It looks the same, except um, all the metal is plastic. It does come in a variety of colours, and the the, me the top isn't made of metal, so there's no cup warmer per se. Um, but it is ever so slightly cheaper. But I really do like the design, and it's it's very sturdy and like and fits into my kitchen quite nicely. What I really like is the fact that the uh, the water tank's removable from the front, so you just pull it out that way. Because most of the machines I see, the water tanks are on the back and you have to pull them up from the back to get to them. Which is fine, but in a kitchen like this one where I've got um, cupboards over the machines, it can be quite, it would be a bit of a, a cumbersome job to pull it up from the back without knocking things over. So I find it great that I can do that and you, you can push the machine right up against the back of the wall and never have to deal with anything around there. Also, I, I believe it also shows that the uh, the water tank is really large. It holds a lot of water in it, which is good. So you haven't got to be you haven't got to fill it up as often anyway, because um, you can go you can go through you know a relative amount of water, especially if you're flushing the system out. And, and yeah, and at the end of the day, it also makes superb tasting coffee in my opinion. Um, I mean, this is a a merit to the. Uh, to the Nespresso system as a whole, as well as just the machine. Um, I mean, the machine makes really lovely milk froth, um, which you you know you 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 can't get that easily with uh, with some other machines. But the Nespresso system as a whole, I find to be really nice, um, it, and it's really great. You have you know have a, a really wide choice of coffee coffee types, and you can you can taste the difference between the ranges, and you know, and, and the flavors and the intensities do match what what what's written down. Um, because I do own a Tassimo machine as well, which I've had for a few months now. And by no means does the Tassimo machine make bad coffee. But the coffee that comes out of the Nespresso machine, in my opinion anyway, is far better than the coffee that the Tassimo machine makes. Obviously the upside with the Tassimo machine, if, if you know about Tassimo machines, is there's a much more wider choice of the types of drinks. So you can do more than just coffee. Um, which is the reason I'm still keeping my Tassimo machine, so I can make teas and hot chocolates with it. But for anything that's coffee-based, I'll be using an espresso, an espresso machine from now on. So the, 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 those are the upsides to the machine and the system. Now there are a few downsides with this machine in particular. First of all, the cup warmer on the top is a great idea, but when the machine is off, the, uh, the, the cup warmer doesn't actually, it's not warm at all, it's still cold. Um, once you've used the machine a couple of times, you can feel it's warm at the moment if I put my hand on there and that works relatively well but it will, it will only do that once the pipes have been heated up and run through a couple of times so obviously if you if you're relying on the cup warmer to make a make the cup warm for your one coffee that you have every morning it won't work in that way so the easiest way to still warm up the cup would be just to pop it underneath and just run one espresso shot through it to clean out the pipes as well but it'll also warm the cup up fine but I still like it it still does work after after a while and I mainly like it because it means that the the top is still made of metal, and it feel you know it feels sturdy and it feels good and matches the rest of the machine. The other big issue that I had, which is I read, I, I you know, and I thought it was going to happen anyway, is um, this this cup holder. Um, the design of it is quite limiting. Pretty much all of the mugs and cups that I have in this I had in the kitchen won't fit in here. If I've got a normal, this is just a. A mug, you know, it's a, it's an Asda value mug, but it's just a mug, a, a normal mug, and it will not fit under here. The nozzle is uh, too close to the to the cup holder as it is to do. I mean, I could do that, but that's not going to work. And then if you push the cup holder back, it also won't fit in the gap here. Um, I also had I had latte glasses, which did just about fit, but they were teetering over the edge of the of the lower drip tray. And they look they looked a bit too precarious, um, so that that wasn't that wasn't a bit of an issue. You can customize how much milk and how much water goes into the cup. All you have to do, all you do for whatever program you're using, you can just if you push and hold down the button, it'll flash more rapidly, and you basically just keep holding down the button until you've you've got enough um, water and milk in the in the glass um, to to fit in into the the cup that you have. Which uh, you can do, which I had to do with my latte glasses because the amount of volume that they could hold was actually smaller than the amount pre-programmed in the machine. So if I left the machine just running, um, I would have had coffee overflowing the sides. But obviously, again, it's uh, doing it that way. It is up to you to guess how much, especially with the milk 
based recipes, you have to guess how much milk to put and how much coffee to put in separately. And uh, I've already said I'm no, I'm no coffee expert, <laughs> I'm no barista, so I didn't really know how much of anything to put in. So well, I, I've reprogrammed the machine myself for my latte glasses, and uh, whilst the coffee that came out was fine, it was not as nice as the macchiatas that I've been making now. And like I said, the, the, the glass didn't really fit properly on the holder anyway. So for me, the easiest thing I did when I ordered the welcome pack with the capsules is um, I just I ordered a selection of the glasses that Nespresso sell themselves. So I basically ended up buying one of each size. So I've got a Ristretto, Espresso, um, Cappuccino, and the Lungo glasses. Um, and also these glasses, um, which are called recipe glasses, but they're perfect for the macchiatos as well. Obviously that is, uh, it will cost, you know, money, and they're not the cheapest of sets. You do get two, two each, and they come with matching, um, they come with matching sauces, uh, you know, and, and to be honest, they do look very nice. And most importantly, all of the cups fit perfectly in the machine, which I was obviously hoping because they're all, both machines are made, you know, for, for Nespresso. But obviously you will have to take that into consideration. You just, you just need to know that you may need to rebuy your cups and mugs to fit under the machine, which you may not want to do, but keep it in mind that it may be a possibility. Um, once I've done this though, uh, like I said, everything fits perfectly, and also all of the all of the default measurements that are programmed into the machine are made perfectly for these glasses, so all the drinks fit to the you know to the exact measurements, um, which again you know makes it makes it less hassle, and also the recipe is already programmed in there properly so like with the macchiatos um there's the correct amount of milk and coffee <laughs> between as opposed to when i tried to do it which um, didn't work out so well but that that is the main thing is the fact that you you need to know that your mugs and cups may not actually fit in the machine the longi do make uh it's a technically it's a newer machine it's the latissima plus i believe the 520 530 perhaps um, and they have a different design, which basically moves this movable drip tray over to this side. Um, and that way, even though the uh, bigger mugs may overhang the edge of the machine slightly, they will still fit under the nozzle pretty much. Um, so, and that model is actually slightly cheaper. Um, but it still does, it's, you can still do the milk froth and stuff. So, you, I was considering the machine myself, so maybe something you want to look into. But, as a whole, now that I have the correct the correct mugs and glasses to fit with the machine, and I'm hoping I won't, be, I won't break them anytime soon, um, I am very I am very happy with the machine. Um, I think it, it looks lovely in my kitchen, um, and I'm very impressed with the Nespresso system as a whole, especially comparing it to the Tassimo system which I was using previously. Uh, like I say, and I just I think the quality of the coffee is is better obviously if you like I said if you are really you know passionate about your coffee this probably won't be a machine for you because it, it lacks any form of manual control really bar the the personalization of water and, and milk um, but like I said you wouldn't be looking at you'd be looking at a, a proper espresso machine uh, if, if that was the case so for quick a quick and easy simple uh, coffee making machine that gives you great coffee, great choice of coffee um, every time. You, I don't think you can, you can't really beat the Nespresso system that much. Um, so, uh, and I'm hoping you know it'll be a machine that will keep making me coffees for months to come at least. Uh, yes, so uh, I think that's everything I can think of. Um, if there's anything I've missed. Um, or any questions feel free to comment below and uh, I hope this has been beneficial for you. It's a review of the DeLonghi Latissima 680 uh, Nespresso machine.